what's up everybody i have a fun unboxing for you today it says fun.com but it's actually halloweencostumes.com this is where the same company i got my slimer costume from from hollow wicked and dc got his ghostbusters costume that is where i got them from is this and this is gonna be my first technically my first mask that i've ever ordered and this is for camp zool spoiler alert i am going to like customize it Woohoo! we're gonna try this on with and without glasses oh lovely it looks a little bit big that's good so this is the mask that I'm going to be custom making or custom styling for me. And I'm a little bit torn. I know I want to do like a red or a bloody bow on the side or in the middle to make it a little bit more feminine. And then I was thinking like some fake eyelashes would be funny. And then also, if you can see, these are the earrings that I wear. They're not ones that you take out easily. So I don't wear everyday earrings. I just leave these in like all the time. I have some old hatchet man earrings that I never wear and I was thinking about gluing them on here. That would be cute as well. As far as the glasses go, if it doesn't work, I have some options. I do have contacts, but if I can find it. When I go to concerts and stuff, contacts really seem to bother me because a lot of people smoke inside venues and stuff and then it just really hurts my eyes but and i wish again i i had a coupon i was sponsored i could give you a coupon but zenni.com got a z e n n i i'm reading it off my glasses i got these bad boys for six bucks their prescription i literally went to my eye doctor they said it was going to be a 90 dollar exam to get your prescription so i asked Okay, how much is it without insurance if I pay cash? What kind of discount can you give me? And they gave me a discount $70. So I always tell people, <laughs> ask. Because even if you have insurance, if you have like a deductible you're not going to reach or whatever, it might be more worth, like might be cheaper for you to pay out of pocket than go through an insurance. Because they, they gave me a discount. So you might ask. I guess we'll try without first. Oh, so yeah, Zenni.com has glasses for $6. That's my plan is to pop those lenses out and glue them on the inside. I know that a lot of people do black paint around their eyes, and I got an idea for that too. Zenni.com sells prescription sunglasses. So that might be an option to glue on the inside of here as well. So let's, oh, this is going to be a tight fit. Um, yeah, I think if I had glasses on, they would just fog up. That's my concern. But it does fit very well. There is a hole here. And there's two nostril holes. But I might be opening this up more because the way that it sits on me is a little low because my head's a little smaller. So I think that... Like I'm feeling my breath on there. Let's try it with glasses and see if there's room. Oh, there, there is room. Yeah, but the glasses are pushing up against my face and I do not like that at all. I don't like that feeling. Yeah, and they're all smudged now because they were up against my face. That's okay. I will just wear contacts, I guess, for that night, but, or I can, um, I have an extra pair of, uh, extra pair of prescription glasses from Zenni, like my old pair that I used for like mowing and stuff because they're all scratched up. So maybe I could just do something like that or pop those bad boys out and glue them on inside here. I feel like if I glued them, it wouldn't be so bad. I want to make the nose holes a little bigger and I want to make the mouth a little bigger so I can have some more air in here. But yeah, it fits really good. This was $20 and I had monster bucks. If you guys make an account, if you're going to buy something from this company, make sure that you make an account because you get monster bucks. And I had $12 monster bucks and this was only a $20 mask. So it was a really good deal. And then to go with it, 
I'll show you. I got this clown outfit. I don't know how well it's going to fit. We'll try it on. And I'm going to probably alter it because it has long sleeves on there. And for Camp Zool, I probably don't want long sleeves. But there's no wig or anything. It's just the dress. Let's see. Dress and the collar. Oh, the hat is included. Oh! Well! Ready on the do. We're gonna put that on my mask then. I don't need a bow. Fuck that. Hell yeah. Oh, I didn't say it came with gloves. And tight. Yeah, screw the bow. I'll just put this on it. I'm gonna fluff this out. Maybe put, um... Oh, this can come right off. Okay, perfect. So I'll probably put like a grocery bag or something in here to kind of keep it fluffed up. And then what are you guys thinking? Like in the middle like that? Is that cute? All right, give me your best warrior scream. <laughs> this is the final look. And you can see right there, I put a doggy squeaky toy. Oh, squeaky. So I can. Yeah. Okay, I've been working on the mask. DC is being creepy with his mask. Yes. I glued the hat on, and then I repainted the gums because they were, like, too pink. So I added some beige and red to make a different kind of pink. And then I added this puffy paint so it will dry three-dimensional, like drippings. I cut the mouth hole out. It was, like, black in there. And then I cut each tooth so that I can take my tongue and wiggle the teeth. I think that would be really creepy. And then I'm trying to debate if I want to make these like chain earrings hanging down. So that I can flop my head back and forth and they'll kind of like sway. Or if I want to do the hatchet man. Or I can do both. So. Still debating on that. Dogs are in here because the vacuum's going and they're scared. Thankfully <laughs> so. Hello. Hello.